Hi guys, I'm Anne and welcome to Chronically Beautiful where we're trying to live our best life even though we probably don't feel like it. And today I have another Dollar Tree haul. I have been, like the rest of the world, in quarantine, but I have been in deep quarantine. I have not left the house for months. Uh, I mean, I've like left the house, but I haven't been in a real store outside of the garden center at Lowe's that I went to once and our local nursery, which is all outdoors. I have not been in a real store to really shop since March 12th. My husband has been doing the grocery shopping along with Instacart. So it was a big day today. I got over my fears and anxiety about actually going into a store. I wore my mask, I wore my gloves, I had my wipes in my pocket. I was ready. I had my whole procedure. So I went to the Dollar Tree. I am out of control. This is an epic haul, so much so that I had to split it into two pieces. So if you're interested in the health and beauty part of this haul, I will link that uh, below so that you can go and check that out. So this haul is going to be food with a lot of Weight Watcher snacks and a few household items that I thought I would throw in that I just enjoy that I wanted to tell you about. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy the channel, share it with a friend. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. All right, let's dive right in. Okay, so we're gonna get the household stuff out of the way first. This is just a small representation of the things that I like to buy at Dollar Tree for around the house, but I just thought I would share a few things today since this haul is so big. One thing I'm not gonna show you, but I can tell you about is light bulbs. They have LED light bulbs that are two for a dollar, which is an excellent price, and we always use those. And it's not like you need to keep buying them over and over because they last a really, really long time. So two for a dollar on regular old LED light bulbs, super good. So I did get a few of those and stocked up on some other light bulbs as well. The next thing I got was this vinyl top liner. Um, it is like a shelf paper kind of thing. It's more of a drawer liner, so it's not sticky. Um, the reason I like this is I use it to line my refrigerator shelves. I like to line the shelves um, and then you just take it out and wash it. And this is plastic, so you can wash it. And I thought this one was so cute. So my frid my kitchen is all like red. My I've got like red accessories. And how cute is this? I've never seen this one before and I needed new liner anyways. It's got like vegetables on it and it's black and gray and red and I love it. So I got a couple of rolls of this so that I can line my fridge shelves with it. And again, for a buck, uh, pretty good you get. 12, 12 inches wide by 30 inches long. Something else that I, I don't exclusively buy at Dollar Tree, but I do kept, I do grab it for certain things are their batteries. So when I see their double A Sunbeam batteries on sale for eight instead of six, sometimes they have an eight pack instead of a six pack, I will grab them. They are not the best batteries in the world, but I have these, they're like fake candles, you know, and they flicker and they don't pull a lot of juice. So these are fine for them and I always, refill them at the beginning of the summer, all the batteries, and then I have them on timer, they turn on every night, and I refill them right before Christmas. I usually do the batteries twice a year, and these last half the year in those guys. So I grabbed those, they're a good price, and then I also got the little flat batteries, the CR2025s. Um, I got some of those as well because I have little tea light candles that are on a timer that are the same thing. And these are a dollar each, which is a little more expensive, um, sometimes they come in a two pack. Okay, what house doesn't need this? Yes, of course, we've got our lighter. I grab these all the time. The girls disappear with them because they like to light candles in their rooms. I always like to have one in the junk drawer, like one in my bathroom, because I light candles in the bath. And then I just built a fire pit by myself with the help of my stepson, Nate. We built a, a whole built-in fire pit all by ourselves. It was pretty amazing. So I wanted to have another one of these around for that. And we also have like bug torches and things like that that we like to light candles outside. Something else that I have purchased at Dollar Tree several times over the years are their Sharpie brand. You know, they're fake Sharpies. They're like Jot is their school supply brand. Um, and so I just grabbed a pack of these because we always need Sharpies around the house and they're a dollar. And they work pretty well for as long as they work. They're worth a dollar for sure. Um, it reminds me of when I was a kid, there was this place here called the Gibraltar Trade Center. And you could go there, you could get a tattoo, you could get a Raiders rhinestone hat made, you could get you and your best friend's names airbrushed on a shirt, you could buy oriental rugs, you could get a sugar glider or a boa constrictor, but you could also get off-brand 
anything. And one time I was so excited because I got this huge pack of Sharpies and they were every color and they were really cheap and then I got them home and, and it said in the same font, it didn't say Sharpies, it said Sharkies. <laughs> So I was like, seriously. So every time I buy these, I always think, sharkies. <laughs> Let the buyer beware. Caveat emptor. Is that what it is? Probably not. Um, okay, so this is some just some wire. I have been sewing masks, and I still have one more big batch to do, and this will be perfect for the nose wire for those. And then I found a few little things for the kitchen, which I'm pretty psyched about. This guy, I've had two of these for a hundred years and one of them just broke uh, like in year 101. So just grabbed another one of these. These are like the main kind of hot pads that I use because all the extra cloth doesn't get all up in your pan and stuff. So I have that. And then I got this little tiny flipper spatula thing, which I like something this small for when I'm doing like a little egg or something small. So I thought that was cute for a buck. And then a little ladle, little ladle, say that five times fast, little ladle, little, 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 yeah. Um, and I, it's just nice to have a little extra ladle. And my thing I'm most excited about from this part is this little paring knife. Um, I haven't had great experience with knives from the Dollar Tree, but this one looks, seems really sturdy, like the blade is not coming out of there. So I thought for a buck, whoops, I put the cover on backwards. For a buck, why not? I'll let you know. No, I won't, I won't remember couple of cleaning products and we're going to get into the food. These are the Ultra Shine dishwasher tabs. Are they as good as Cascade, Super Elite, Express, whatever is the best ones? No, they're not because they're from the Dollar Tree. Will they work in a pinch when you run out of the expensive ones? Yes, they will. So I always keep a couple of bags around just in case because I don't always buy the expensive ones because I buy them at certain stores or I buy them when they're on sale because they are so expensive. So it's nice to just have a backup around. They work okay, they're fine. We rinse all of our dishes anyways before we put them in there. If you're someone who's like a psycho about there being, um, you know, like water spots on your glasses. Do I make you unhappy, embarrass you? I don't know, first of all, relax. And second of all, those are probably not for you. I was looking for cleaning wipes, which of course I couldn't find, and like antibacterial cleaning spray, which of course I couldn't find because apparently it just doesn't exist. When are they gonna start manufacturing more of it? Clearly we need more. Um, so I, I bought this. It is Pine Glow, kitchen and bathroom cleaner and disinfectant, antibacterial, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. So it's like a pine sol situation, it's lemon scented, and it's filled with chemicals. Now is not the time for, for clean cleaning, folks, in my opinion, anyways. I'm normally someone who's like vinegar, essential oils, whatever, can't do it. Nope, not right now, not gonna do it, sorry. Uh, if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, kills rotavirus and kills the pandemic 2009 H1N1 influenza A, formerly swine flu. Well, I'm glad that it kills the pandemic from 2009 but I'm pretty sure you can just use this spray straight as it is, but I think you're supposed to actually dilute it. So I'm gonna read the instructions and figure this out, and I think this will be a nice cleaning spray. And it's a huge bottle. It's a full quart for a dollar. Let's get into the food. I know this is a super weird haul. Uh, the Laffy Taffy Tropical Flavors. So it's half pineapple and half guava. If you love Laffy Taffy and you've never tried these, highly recommend, they're so good. The guava ones, it's weird. They like smell like B.O., but they taste good. Have, have you experienced this with like certain flavors? I feel like mango flavored things, orange Tic Tacs, they have this kind of B.O. essence to them. Am I alone on that? They kind of smell B.O.-y, but they taste good. I don't know. That's kind of going on with the guava, but these are delicious and you can't always find them and the family loves these, so I bought a couple to put in our little candy bowl. I'm gonna have a hard time staying away from these. The next thing I got was this Pantry Essentials Traditional Pizza Sauce. I just always buy pizza sauce from the Dollar Tree. It's filled with chemicals. It's not organic, whatever, um, but it's only a dollar. And the exact same thing, which tastes the exactly same, that's from the grocery store like Ragu or even Kroger brand is usually gonna be closer to $2. So I like to save money where I can. The thing I picked up, which I get often, is the Basil Pesto by Montebalno. I'm, I'm not sure about the brand. Um, this is definitely not a Weight Watcher food. It is 200 calories for a quarter of a cup, but it is delicious. They sell something very similar at Aldi for like $2.99 or $2.79 or something. Um, this was a buck. 
I like to just make pasta and then put this on there and a little goes a long way with this. It is delicious. Like I said, not a Weight Watchers food, but a really good dinner if you like pesto. A couple of just like random things. Olives. Olives can be expensive at the grocery store. Firm, plump, and juicy ripe olives by Bell's, which is not a Dollar Tree brand and they're only a buck. And I like to also get asparagus at the Dollar Tree because asparagus is expensive. It's always like $2 or more to get a can of asparagus or a jar of asparagus at the grocery store. I do not know why. This is the MC Trader brand, or is it Mick Trader? I don't know. I think they're trying to be like Trader Joe's or something. Okay, this is a no brainer, brown rice. I've been having a hard time getting brown rice when I place my Instacart orders. Like Aldi is totally out of brown rice. I haven't been able to get it at Meijer. I do not know what the story is with the no brown rice on Instacart. So I just got a couple of bags of this. If you are on the Weight Watchers purple plan, this is zero points. Um, if you are on the other plans, it is points. Another snack that I really love are these little rice rolls. I'm gluten-free, by the way, if you didn't know that. So all of these snacks that I have purchased are also gluten-free. Um, so these are my favorite gluten-free snacks and my favorite Weight Watcher snacks from the Dollar Tree. So these are 40 calories for one roll, and I think one roll is two points if I recall. They're delicious, they're kind of sweet. Three grams of sugars, so it's not terrible, but these are delicious. My kids love them, we love these things. I usually buy like six packs of them when I get them. Good Health Veggie Straws. They come in a reasonably sized bag, so I'm not gonna eat the entire thing and go crazy. And they are really low in points and you can eat quite a few of them. They come in sea salt and jalapeno. These suckers are hot, but they are so good. Speaking of hot, I get these wasabi peas and they are fairly high in points, but they are also delicious. I absolutely love these. And when I'm eating something this hot, I, don't eat a lot of it, but it's like that flavor punch that you need to, you know, get get that craving under control. And I like these because they're gluten-free. A lot of times snacks like this are not gluten-free because they, can t they contain soy sauce, any kind of like Asian snacks, uh, but these are gluten-free, so I really love that. Like I said, they're hot, but man, are they good. Oh my gosh, I could eat the whole bag. I won't but I could. Munch Right Apple Cinnamon Flavored Baked Puffs. We have been eating these for years since the kids who are all like teenagers now were teeny tiny. They love these, I love these. They're just so good and they're gluten-free. A lot of times you can't find this flavor profile in, in a gluten-free option. So super yummy, love those. If Nate gets a hold of these before I get them, they'll be gone. So I have to eat some now before he gets them. Another one of my very favorite Dollar Tree snacks are these freeze-dried apple slices. They also come in strawberry, mixed fruit, and peach. I usually always buy the apple in the peach. Very low in Weight Watchers points, but they're really good. They're like crunchy and sweet, and they're not like apple chips. They're freeze-dried, so love these, yum. A couple of other random things here. So I just bought some relish, it's dill relish. I'm not a big relish person. However, I really like a little squirt of relish in my tuna, and it's harder to find dill relish. Dill relish is zero points. Sweet relish is points because there's sugar in it. So um, it's hard to find dill relish, and it's Vlasic brand, and it was a dollar, so um, this must not have gone over well in the grocery store, but that works out well for me. So now I have a little squirty thing of relish to put in my tuna, which is also zero points. Love that. And then I did get a few seasonings. This seasoning, oh my goodness. I don't know how to pronounce this. Baja, Badia, Badia. I'm not sure. You let me know in the comments below how to pronounce this. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. This complete seasoning, oh my goodness, it's so good. You can use it in like Mexican food or if you're making just regular old whatever. I use it even in like chicken soup. It, you can use it in an Italian flavor, you know, kind of dishes. It, it is awesome. And I know for me, flavoring and seasoning is everything, especially when I'm trying to diet because it just, I can't deal with flavorless food. It's already bad enough that I have to eat boring food. I need it to pop. So I got their complete seasoning. I always have this on hand. And then I saw a new one by the same company called Sriracha Salt. And I grabbed that and that sounds really good and is gonna be hot. I love like Sriracha mayo and things like that. So pretty psyched to give this a whirl. I'm sure it's gonna be hot. I like hot stuff way more than the family does. But um, this, oh man, is that gonna be good. And then I also grabbed some Supreme Tradition, which I think is the Dollar Tree brand. Um, this is their Supreme Tradition salt-free seasoning. 
I really should be only using salt-free seasoning because of my blood pressure. And, but yeah, this definitely has salt in it, but I don't use a ton, so it's fine. It's not like I, I don't pour salt on my food, but I just wanted to give this a try. We have like the McCormick one and all the other, like the Lowry's and stuff. So I just figured for a fuck I'd try it. Finally, I got a few of my favorite sugar-free candies. These are awesome. They are delicious. They do not taste sugar-free. They just taste like lemon drops, these hard candies. And then I also grabbed some of the Russell Stover's sugar-free peppermint patties and caramels. And sometimes they have the sugar-free like Heath, they're toffee. They taste like a Heath bar, but they didn't have any this time. Um, these are definitely, three pieces are 160 or 170 calories. So it's not like they're zero calories. You can't eat a bunch of them. And they're higher in points than a lot of things are, but you're having chocolate and you're having candy. For me, I feel like they taste really good. Um, I don't think they taste sugar-free or bad. They don't have like a diet aftertaste. Um, is it a Hershey's bar? No, but I, I, I still think it's really good. I, I would eat this instead of a Hershey bar. So I grabbed these, they're small packages, but it's Russell Stover, so they're, you know, it's good stuff. So that is my food slash random weird household items haul from the Dollar Tree. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got some good ideas. What are your favorite things to get at the Dollar Tree? Comment below. All right, you guys, keep coming back. Take care of you.